Welcome to my study today. We're going to have a look at the second part of conjunctions, which will help you with your IELTS writing task two. We look at emphasizing, clarifying, and giving examples. I'll also give you a word which you shouldn't use in your written work. Yes, one you shouldn't use. And finally, we'll have some exercises to practice the conjunctions. Emphasising points is very useful in your academic writing because it draws the reader's attention to something you consider important. And we can use words and phrases like in particular, chiefly, mainly and especially. If we look at these two sentences, coral reefs are dying, climate change affects life in our oceans. Now we can join that together quite easily. Coral reefs are dying mainly as a result of climate change affecting life in our oceans. So you are not constantly repeating the same word, which is not a good idea. Here are some other examples to help you. Farm waste, in particular, contaminates rivers. Notice the comma before and after the phrase. Fossil fuel burning is chiefly responsible for creating acid rain. We don't need a comma there. Man-made gases, especially carbon dioxide, cause global warming. And because I've drawn attention to a phrase, I've used commas before and after. So these are nicely interchangeable and will get you good marks with an examiner for your IELTS exam. For clarifying details or expanding the meaning in our sentences, we can use in other words, that is to say, which means that. So in these two sentences, which we can link together, greenhouse gases have far ranging environmental effects, trapped heat contributes to extreme weather, smog and air pollution. Now let's link them together. Greenhouse gases have far ranging environmental effects. In other words, they contribute to extreme weather, smog and air pollution. Notice the commas either side of the phrase and I've expanded my meaning of far ranging environmental effects by saying they contribute to extreme weather, smog and air pollution. I have clarified the details. Two more examples. 20 countries are heavy polluters. That is to say, they are responsible for at least three quarters of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Time is running out for planet Earth, which means that we must act to reduce man-made pollution. You see how the conjunctions nicely join the sentences together and give them a good academic feel. You will always get more marks if you can write sentences like this and it really isn't too difficult to do if you pick exactly the conjunctions you want to use. You don't have to know them all. And finally, for giving examples, we can use for example, such as, for instance, and these are fairly interchangeable. Let's look at these two sentences. There are several changes that could be made. Electric cars could completely replace petrol and diesel engines. Now, if we join them together, there are several changes that could be made. For example, electric cars could replace those driven by fossil fuels. But I could have said changes that could be made, such as changes that could be made for instance, they are nicely interchangeable. Can you guess the word that you shouldn't use? Well, it's etc. Etc. just says to the reader, you make your own mind up. But remember, this is an exam. We want to see your ideas. So avoid etc. Exercise one, use the words below to fill the spaces. Sometimes these are interchangeable, but I've given you in the answers the ones which I think are the best fit. The answers follow. Pause the video 
and check through to see if you got them right. Next time, we'll have a close look at the present and present continuous tenses. Some students do have trouble with these and we'll try to look at some of the reasons why. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe below and like and I'll see you next time. Bye!